Okay, entering the secret passage directly with the castle. Anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Hmm. Are you the maid, Lady Isolde mentioned? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. She said you poisoned the Arl. I'm not proud of my deed. Poisoning Arl Eamon was what I was hired to do. Lady Isold had no idea when she took me in to tutor her son, of course. What about the walking corpses? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isold came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden. That if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see... I'm a Malefica, a blood mage. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. Ah, uh, I thought you looked familiar. I had thought you dead, hunted down by the Templars. I guess you might have been told that. I was in hiding when I was caught. But instead of killing me, Loghain made me an offer. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow, I have to. Why did the Arlissa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady Isold was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Perhaps her son is responsible then. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. And Earl Eamon had no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. Hmm. How much magic did you teach, Connor? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. I see. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Jowen has good intentions, but... A blood mage? I... I find it difficult to trust his words. I don't know. He is a blood mage. This is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. So how do you plan to make things right? I... 
Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. That's commendable, if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Yeah, yeah I either take a chance on him or not. I don't particularly see how he could screw things up any, any worse. We're already knee-deep in undead, uh, and... Uh, there's something certainly summoning them here. Why would he still be in prison if this has been gone on for days? Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't think he's responsible. I can't leave you here alive. Okay, I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out. And what then? Yeah, come with me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger exactly. Then hell, just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. At least there disapproves. No. Uh, okay. How? What's our approval ratings? Liliana is smitten with us. At least there, it's just fine. Win is very good. Excellent. Excellent. Going well with the ladies. I, I, I don't really... I can't blame Alistair for being very skeptical. It, it is a risky business we're trying to do. I'll get on it. Now he's gonna jump up and start fighting me at some point. Are you? Ooh, a nose. Rolled up nose. I owe, I hope whoever finds this can read it. I hate the thought that my last words might be used as kindling or, maker forbid, to wipe someone's bum, but that's happenstance for you, I suppose. My name is Brennan. I was born in Rainsphere. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Orlesians came to demand I bow to their emperor, I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards. My house, too. I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually, houses fall. But my honor can be lost only if I let it. They came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time, when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here and I'll die in this place. Seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and rebuilt my home, gone on with my life as if nothing had changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land, and I won't be the one to trade our family honor for apples. Whoever you are, whatever they've brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Rainsphere. There's no living remnant of us left there, but you'll find my family all the same. We're, we're stamped under, under the earth. We're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you, they'll hear. Oh, shocking. Uh, it's rubbish enemies. Got it. Okay. 
You're rubbish. On your guard! We could use more active attack abilities, so uh, I could get something immediately. Punisher or Whirlwind? A Whirlwind striking out at surrounding enemies with both weapons. Each it deals normal combat damage. This is just fine. Uh, in combination with the dual weapon sweep, this could probably help clear out a lot of the weaker enemies quite fast. Punisher, it's uh, against single target. Target may also suffer penalties to attack and defense or be knocked to the ground. Mm, this would be more what I had in mind. The Punisher. Although, usually the problem is that there's a lot of cra uh, trash opponents. So surrounding us and we can't just take care of them fast enough. Okay, what is this? Ooh, uh, the Punisher. Okay. It's a little bit of a... If we encounter tougher opponents we can take them at least to lower health quite fast. It shouldn't make it shouldn't make a significant difference to what we are doing. Okay. Greater shade, lesser shades. This is survival. Does this allows you to see the enemy formations and what they are beforehand? Coming our way. These were probably more in line against the characters we were after Ostagar. Now well, they're a bit on the weak side. There's nothing wrong with their hit point amounts, but they don't really know any abilities. Now is better than later. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Shambling corpses.
Mystery of the Chantry. Shambling corpses. something What do I do with the corpse skull? Malform a malformed organ cut from the god of a reanimated horror. This has no use. Is it a quest or something? Do you heal anything? Another dog treat. I don't get the dog treats really. Can I get you a ladder? Because so you get off my back? by its very nature, it, it has a very high approval rate of you. So why would you need the gifts? Unless you intentionally screw up the approval, but at that point, do you really care about the dog? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Okay, second floor. Good 
Got it. Now is better than later. Hey, do you know what's going on? Please, don't hurt me. Stupid girl, get out of my way. Calm down, I'm not going to hurt you. I... I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. Is she... All right. What happened to everyone? Um... I've so... I've only seen these creatures so far myself. I don't know where everyone else is. The Arlesa was in the hall with Connor, but I haven't been there in a long time. Are you Owen's... Owen's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Uh... There is a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. But... but the monsters! Mm, then you should stay here. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Well, we've cleared the area. There is no undead there. We okay. What are these? Shambling corpses. Shouldn't be any traps there either. Powering corpse. Liliana in so much trouble. armor is terrible for one. So if someone takes her as a primary target, she's in deep trouble. Now is better than later. All right, she, all right. she could definitely use an ability that allows her to drop out enemy aggro immediately. I guess I could try to go for something like that. Siller. Got it. Can't we come up from Siddler already? I'll get on it. No, it was the basement. Basement dungeon. Basement cellar. Second floor, courtyard. Alright, alright. Take a look at the cellar. Is it somehow different? Yeah, it's an alternative access to courtyard. Got it. Seal brazers gift. Uh, it's a love letter. Can I get you a ladder? Love so letter codex entry. Ask away. No, I don't want to go there now. I want to see what's in here first fully. 
Uh, this is not, seems to be an alternative way to go to the courtyard. So why the alternative way is even necessary? I'd like to see. Maybe because it's locked. Well, if it's the courtyard, it's very likely to contain a fight, so... Alright, alright. Yep, shambling corpses. We could open the gate. But the knights would try to rush in at that point. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do that. Revenant. Holy shit. It's a weak revenant though. I particularly care about that. You son of a bitch. Someone has to fight it uh, at close range. There's no alternative to that. Uh, I I'm going to need some help here. It went fairly well. All right, all right. Now there's the knights. Can I get you a ladder? So you can get off my back? I'll get on it. Got it. You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Uh, I'd prefer to go alone first. As you wish. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. We don't know where what we're getting into. It's sensible to have a backup. It also covers our rear, so we don't really have to worry about threats coming from any other direction. We can just focus on moving forward.
So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This is a dwarf, Connor. You... You've seen dwarves before. We've had them here at the castle. Had them? For dinner, maybe. Looks like a tough chew. Maybe in a nice stew. <laughs> Shall I send it to the kitchen, Mother? Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor? Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me! Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. What did you do to ban Tegan? Here I am! Here am I! <laughs> I like him better this way. <laughs> no more yelling. Now he amuses me. <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. It was a fair deal. Father is a liar. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! <laughs> Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us. What have you come here for? Me? No reason. I think I'll just leave. Hmm. Let's see, I need to see Arl Eamon. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Antigen shit. I don't particularly want to fight them. Uh, I don't know if this leads to some kind of a. Uh, leads to me murdering these or what. Maybe I could just. Where the hell are they going? This is the second floor in that direction. Okay, can I do this while in combat? Okay, that settles it. Do I get you a ladder? <laughs> Okay, what the fuck aren't you healing anything? 
The one thing you need to do, so do it. It is done. Tigan. Oh, Tigan. Are you all right? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. You knew about this all along. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor has become an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Okay, um... What do we answer to that? I don't want to start accusing people. Mm, I thought he'd be useful seeing as he helped start this. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed! Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isund. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Where is Connor now, and what, so what did he run? I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... Or he might be waiting in ambush. I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into... coming out again, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... Oh, perhaps. Is there... Is there no other way? <sighs> okay. Where is Arl in? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. Johan, what can you add to this? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade, without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. 
What difference does that, uh, does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Someone's going to die either way. Indeed. Either my son, or the sacrifice. Let it be me then. I will give my life for his... What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Can we even trust this Jowan to do as he promises? Give him access to such power, and who knows what he shall do? I am uneasy. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Uh... Uh, I think they're being overly cautious because it's a plot mate of my companions. The thing is, Win again is overly cautious. Yeah, what would he do if he gained access to such power? He already has access to it. If he wanted to, he could sacrifice some kind of villager. If 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 he's the person you suspect he might be. Nothing would hold him back from doing what you are afraid of already. This is not a, in any way necessary for him to gain access to that power. It doesn't make much sense unless he at least has some other motive than just gaining access to power. I can't be 100% certain that it's to make things right only. But I'm, pre I'm also certain that it's not just to gain access to that power. If it's if it's just a sacrifice he needs, there are a lot better sacrifices to be had. There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Well, the Circle Tower is not far from here and they do owe me. Indeed. It should not be difficult to get what is needed, provided we have the time. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I'll take the chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. I feel that's the best choice we can take at this point. All the options are more or less all right, all right. risky. But I think we at least have to walk this path. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I see an Suits of armor. Okay, who's attacking who at this point? We'll start to focus our fire a bit. Oh, 
these are quite hard to hit. We're missing quite a bit. At least that's what it looks like. Legion Empire. Alistair's mother's amulet. Well, that that should get his approval rating back to some acceptable values. Probably thirteen to fourteen points of e e approval increase. Can I get you a Chamberlain. I'll get on. All right, all right. Got it. Redcliffe Bolt Key. I'll get on it. Allow me. I could do that for you. I shall. Novice flame rune. Allow me. I could do that for you. Small silver ring. Geography of Ferelden. Wait, wait, wait. That was better than later. Okay. Yep. So the circle of the mage, I just request for help. The problem is the mage, just so. We have Win, but she's a healer. She has terrible combat skills. Nothing really. Well, Petrify and Stone Fist, and that's it. I mean, that is literally goddamn it. So, well, Arcane Bolt. Except Petrify will not work on any kind of boss, Stone Fist isn't any real good, and neither is Arcane Bolt. She'll... She's very likely to survive quite a bit, but still, you need to do damage in order to get anywhere. Morgan would be much more likely to survive the encounter if we need to solo without any kind of caster, so maybe we should Try to take her with us. We also the weapons the mages use are, are pathetic. What we have, we have terrible versions of them. We can't draw, rely on that for the damage at all. So. Morgan, it has to be. I need to go to the village to see if the daughter of the smith arrives safely.
Cross this grace. A gift, small white wildflower, commonly known as Andrastis Clays. Uh, I think that's for uh, Eliana. She was telling about uh, about her mother and the fragrance about her golden flower that she remembers. I'm glad I finished the Circle of the Mage at first. I don't think that would have been an option if I hadn't. My Valena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. Take this. A reward for your deed. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. Thank you. I was glad to help. Thank you again. I'm forever in your debt. The dwarven armor. Hmm, I don't see it. Shield the dwarven armor, perhaps? Uh, either way, it's terrible. Thank you, kind sir. I'd never have been able to return to my father if it wasn't for you. Sir, indeed. Okay. We done a mission or something. Those stung with a hundred arrows, those suffering from ailments both great and small, his heart was strong. And he moved on. Yeah, three gold and a level up. Liliana! Need, no, you need more strength. You need 20 strength at least. Yeah, Master Steven. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I'm uh, taking Master Steven. Vain death. Dual weapon finesse. Now I'm still focused on combat abilities, I think. If there's a limit to what we can do. Well, it, it's not like these abilities are bad in any sense. It, it just we can work around them. Just walk into their backsides and backstab to your heart's content. Ah, shit. Okay, I, I think I'll try to take more rogue abilities. Mechanical expertise, device master. No, I'm I'm working my way towards feign death. We might never reach it, but that's okay. Okay, Morgan is not going to be all that willing to help with uh, I bet, but I, I think she will do it. We have very high approval with her anyway, so if she disapproves a little bit, it, it won't make any kind of difference.
I'm more, more interested in should we do the switch now? Um, Liliana will be the replacement. Morgan, where are you? Okay, level up. Fantastic. Mm, what do you uh, only want more willpower? And combat abilities. She has frost weapons, winter crash, lightning, healing, a lot of. Uh, Useful, potentially useful abilities. Maybe more damage. Just pure damage. Go for the blizzard. Do I have any kind of other plan? Death magic. No, we need something that does damage. Just in pure damage. Shock, well, it's okay. We could get Corn of Cold. It's basically the same spell, with a chance to freeze things solid, and then shatter them with critical hits. Also, we would get access to Blizzard. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go forward with this. It won't make a huge difference, but it should make a little... No... Uh, equipment change. Morgan, what equipment do you have? You need something that does well in combat. She's not all the well equipped. So quick, gloves. Electricity damage. Rock shield. Huh. Mental resistance will power. Uh, health regeneration in combat. That wouldn't be bad. I think I'll still. Yeah. No, plus ten percent cold damage. We have a lot, quite a few cold spells, so I'll keep I'll keep that. <sighs> Shit, her equipment is terrible. We're going to have to take a little bit away from green. Lost 10% cold damage, yep. So, willpower, mental resistance, cold damage. Cold damage, electricity damage, yep. It, it is what it is. It'll have to do her approval, 63. Yeah, that should be good enough for anything. Indeed. Morgan, yes. Alistair, and wait. Yes. I want a lot of mages. Naturally the anti mage guy. Ah shit. What is it now?
twisted. There's a lot of spirit, I believe. Win disorients nearby enemies with a release of energy, restoring some health and mana and er earning bonuses to spell power and mana regeneration. However, once she deactivates the ability, she is stunned and suffers penalties to movement, attack and weakness. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very risky to use. Herlock Omega, holy shit, that's a, that's a mage, that is a high level mage, so some kind of boss fight. Lovely, lovely Creature. mage. What's happening there? Yeah, without a doubt, it's something that they're hair locked, dude. I'll get up. What was that? Did you summon the spirit? I called forth the spirit that sustains me, so that it could lend us aid. I did not realize it would take this much out of me. It seemed a good idea at the time, if a little rash. I think it may have weakened the spirit a little. Ah, uh, so you could kill yourself doing this. Well, um, that's certainly conceivable. I suppose I shouldn't be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. Mia. You know yourself best. I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. Your concern is touching. Sounds now is better than later. Anything else? Can I get you a ladder? I don't think so. so. You can get off my back. Yeah, let's just leave. 
And a cracked skull. Of course you have a cracked skull. Okay, I'll just move all to right, the right. circle of the Magi and then there. I'm guessing once we talk to it, we have an option to go directly to the Red Cliff Castle and see the deed done. So, Morgan, are you still in there? Yeah. 